Hello everybody and welcome to another game review. Today I'll be reviewing Circus of Tim Tim. Circus of Tim Tim is a mascot horror game created and published by Mascot Bro Studios. Mascot Bro Studios provided a free review code for me to review this game. So, thank you, Mascot Bro. In the game, you have to sneak into, I think, an abandoned park. The story's pretty uh, incohesive, and I can't really understand it, but I'm under the impression you're sneaking into the abandoned circus. The character designs are pretty cool, but there's one big issue, which I'll talk about later. The gameplay boils down to just picking up objects. It does have a few unique things, such as stealth, which actually no other mascot horror game really incorporates. Um, like, stuff like Ban Ban, and uh, I guess FNAF, FNAF does have a few stealth sections, uh, at least in like the later games. Um, but Ban Ban and Poppy Playtime never really have any true stealth sections, so that is a uh, good... Um, you know, new feature to the game, um, which other mascot bro, I mean, ma not mascot bro, um, mascot horror games don't have stealth sections, so having a full-on stealth mascot horror game is really cool. And earlier I mentioned that there was a issue with the characters, and we are talking about that issue now. All of the assets in this game are bought, um from the unity marketplace none of them are original which makes the game kind of have a weird kind of un like the whole thing with mascot games is um or specifically mascot horror but mascot style games in general are um the recognizable mascot characters that's why it's called mascot horror Games like Five Nights at Freddy's and Garden of Ban Ban have extremely memorable characters that will sit in players' hearts for, I don't know, years, decades, because how memorable and cool their designs are. And for Circus of Tim Tim, I played this game, um, I was, I received the review code a month or two ago. I have been so busy, I have not had time to review it, um... But I played it less than a week or two ago, and I, to be completely honest, don't remember the characters just because they're all store-bought assets, um, which is very disappointing because the gameplay is very promising um, with the whole stealth mechanic and such. Um, and it's just overall kind of unmemorable and relatively short. The game lasts about, I think, 30 to 45 minutes, and for the price of $8, I don't know if I'd say it's worth it. Right now, as we speak, um, July 28th, I think it is, the game is on Steam Summer Sale, which makes it slightly cheaper. I don't know if I'd quite recommend the game, as, um, you know, as I've said, there's a lot of issues, but it's 100% worth at least checking out and definitely going to the Steam page. And Mascot Bro Studios has shown themselves to be a very promising publisher, so I would 100% recommend checking out their stuff. Um, a lot of their games were recently removed due to recent events, but, um, yeah. I don't know if I'd give the game, or like, I don't know if I'm really going to give this game a traditional rating, because it feels more like a demo than an actual game. And for the price, I'm not sure if I can really recommend it, but, um... I guess it's on Steam Summer Sale right now. Go check it out. It will be linked in the description. And thank you, Mascot Bro, for the review code.